Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Matt Capper and this is another video on Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, you have one day left to get some free resources for the brand new Awakening system. And it's right here. We'll go to the Spider Tournament. This is what it is. Many thanks to Brad Chosen, uh, who is a good friend of mine and of course part of the Aftershock community. The, the de facto leader of the community who reminded me that there's actually I didn't really pay attention I just saw that it was uh, one of these these specific uh, factions one so I didn't even look at it but there are some opportunities for some tournament uh, some fragments some um, uh, really awakening fragments and so it's a really good opportunity to do this now this is probably one of the more difficult uh, one of the more difficult factions to do or or alliances because there's only two factions and that's dwarves and shadowkin and there are a couple of brand new dwarves that are really good for it unfortunately uh not uh strong enough so let's take a look at the index and then we'll talk about the team that i put together uh which is doing in my opinion very fast considering what you have to deal with here in the the Neresian union so uh if you look here there's there's a lot of uh, hope <laughs> and not a lot of actual uh results here now this Gentor, if you have them very strong uh very strong with this because he can still turn meter on a three turn cooldown very strong very strong unfortunately don't have them uh rio has a single target hp burn uh yoshi has kind of a random hp burn ninja we don't want random we want all or none and unfortunately this doesn't really get it done kaioku has one of the stupidest kits uh chosen mentioned it in his uh video if you didn't get a chance to see it, i'll link it down below but uh uh, yeah, so has an HP burn, but is uh, booked 100% chance to put the decrease attack and will only put the decrease or only put the HP burn if it doesn't land the decrease attack. Now, hmm. first off, um, if it's 100% chance and you have the accuracy, it'll land the decrease attack 97% of the time. There's a 3% chance to resist. So the attack gets resisted, but then the HP burn has to not resist. Now that's a exponentially smaller number, but still a percent chance. So the reality is you might land one or two or three. And if you don't land the decreased attack because you don't have enough accuracy to land it, then the HP burn can also get resisted. But what is most laughable <laughs> of it all, oh yeah, I can't show you here. Uh, I can't, I tried to get Koyuku to the, to the lowest... I can get 90 accuracy and spiders have no resistance so i was landing decreased attack 80 percent of the time even with no accuracy because i have my great hall gives me 80 faction uh must give me 10 i thought it should be 15 i don't know maybe it was on maybe it was more than it maybe it was 90 when i took the gear offer so it's unfortunate that she can't be used um in this faction there's a few other options i'd really love to use fenchy but the reality is you want to do this on 20 you probably don't want to overburn your resources by going 24 or 25 unless you can really put it together in which case fenchy really good off uh except for on 20 because of his affinity uh he's he's got this decreased turn meter by 15 percent and is a 75 percent chance really good on the a2 uh, and the a1 uh has a has two, three chances to place a decreased speed plus it's a three there's a couple three hitters so there's some really good giant slayer plus puts a little bit of a poison on there which is kind of fun uh very strong champion to use in this ability i haven't really found a use for anyone else i tried a bunch of different things uh, of champions that have nothing really really worked uh well per se i think also if you could get a weak affinity to Ragi, that might be useful because you can lay down some poisons but the problem with poisons is you want you don't want them to him to take turns uh on the dwarf side we have you can have some nuke down there's plenty of nuke down potential here trunda herndig molly great control plus she's giving you turn meter boost when she's getting hit by the spiderlings for the first time um it's once per round so what I found is interesting, when the spiderlings die or, or are eaten by the boss, the new spiderlings will proc her passive again. So you will get those turn meter boosts quite uh, quite frequently. And Granjar here, I believe, has yeah has the AoE HP. So if you were lucky enough to pick up this fine little devil, who I believe was a guaranteed champion not too long ago, then you don't even need to watch this video, but have fun anyway. Um, and, you know, Samar, I guess you could put in there. Tormund, you could freeze. There's a lot of different options. But what I'll show you is what worked for me, and it gave me two key, uh, two key 
advantages. Number one, I didn't have to regear anyone at all. And number two, um, the spider never gets a chance to go. I can actually control turn meter 100%. So let's go into the dungeon. Let's go into uh, spiders and I'll show you the team I used. It's actually so simple, it's stupid. Uh, it's just a three man team. Two women, one man team uh, to be more uh, inclusive. And frankly, the women are making this show. Uh, they, they're they the ones that make this work and, and bless them. Uh, and the reason why I don't have to... <laughs> the speeds are not for the faint of heart. They just get... Take a moment. For some of you, be like, whatever. But some of you, these speeds are going to seem a little bit extreme. But it, the, they're actually just because they're the, the, the speeds I have. I haven't tried them slower because Demetha here is in my uh, clan boss team. So she's 315 speed. Uh, we have her uh, crit cap just for that extra little damage in uh, clan boss. And her job is actually this right here. It's going to increase the duration of all buffs. It's going to decrease the uh, duration of all ally debuffs. It's going to heal. Uh, that's important. Uh, we need that. Uh, we also have this here, which does mitigate some of the damage, which I like. Uh, and puts a continuous heal. That's going to keep our uh, Geomancer alive. And then just as an added bonus, a little bit of shield on there. Um, which is usually goes on, on Geo. But um, it, it's really not it's really not a big deal. It's just kind of an added uh, bonus there. So there's Demetha. She is the first one of, of the group. Then we have Kimmy. Now Kimmy's speed is pretty fast. I use her for my arena. She's my fastest champion currently. I actually have retired... Uh, Lysandra for the time being in favor of Kimmy. Lysandra was way better at turn meter control, but Kimmy brings that removal of block buffs, which is really strong. It is so strong against Leorius uh, that I preferred using her, and I finally got some gear. I lost about, I think, 8 speed I gave up, but honestly, 383, if 383 isn't fast enough uh, with Kaimar lead, then probably 390 wasn't fast enough, or 391 wasn't fast enough either. But uh, good stats on her, good HP, uh, and, and the ability to land her uh, accuracy debuffs. So that's Lady Kimmy. And then, uh, obviously, what she's doing here is she's increasing our own speed. Uh, increase accuracy is not really a big deal in this case, but you could use it if you need to. Uh, the block buff's also not a big deal. But the, the, the bigger deal is probably this here where she's actually putting a decreased speed for two turns and uh, reduces turn meter by 15%. Uh, so very strong as well. Uh, and this, every time she debuffs an enemy, she's uh, decreasing that turn meter by 5%. So very strong. And then this, on top of it, does have some turn meter manipulation as well. So overall, very strong champion at keeping that turn meter off. But the... The, the real shine is, of course, the Geomancer with his HP burn. He's weak affinity, so he's placing an HP burn. And he's the target for 90% of the attacks, which is going to do damage. The only thing is, the damage is very inconsistent because it has that uh, deflects 30% of the damage, which is fine. And then has a 30% chance of dealing an additional damage equal to 3% of the target's max HP, which is very similar to a, a Warmaster proc. And uh, that's where it's it's wildly how often that procs is how quick the fight's going to be. But the big thing, the big deal here is, and people forget this because you use it in clan boss, use it in Hydra where it's non applicable. But this also fully depletes the target's turn meter and fills this champion's turn meter by the amount the target loses. And this works on the spider. So on a three turn cooldown, given the speeds that my other two are and the manipulation of turn meter already, the spider never gets a chance to go. And every time you get hit by a Spiderling Geo, you get a chance to A, proc the damage in, which isn't a big deal, but you proc that extra, that 30% for that for that, that last little bit here, that 3% of the target's match, max HP, that's what's doing the damage here, that's what's doing the work. So the three of them together, he also, yeah, he can do this, and the remove buff isn't a big deal, but uh, you know he can decrease accuracy, not a big deal. So let's see this in action, and a pretty simple, easy run. Uh, for some easy wins in the arena three-man team the reason why I don't bring more in I did actually try uh, time and time again I tried to put other champions in but the reality is I didn't have any other champion that was doing damage what you do not want is you do not want HP burn uh, because Geomancer gets a little confused and I actually originally had uh, Riho for some heals and for some survivability 
but she and she does she puts down a decreased attack all that stuff on the boss but she would put down an hp burn and if that was a three turn hp burn my geo would actually put hp burn on a spiderling rather than on the boss which is not what you want that's the exact opposite of what you want so it actually didn't really work well for me uh in that particular case see that full de full depletion of turn meter just gives you reset so the spider never goes and it's always just about that spiraling damage you see the 166 655 that's that 30 percent chance for that three percent uh bonus damage and the great thing about that is that reflects even when you're not taking damage so if he has that block damage buff from Demetha, he still has a chance to proc that you see the uh the the war master procs 58,000. so my thought was i could bring two other champions they'd have a chance to proc those all it did was slow it down because they weren't doing enough measurable damage on the boss for it to matter uh, this is just better because it's faster because you don't have the extra the extra animations I did try to take it to two uh, But I really need Kimmy's manipulation on turn meter So if you do have one of those other turn meter manipulating champions Then maybe that's gonna do better for you than Kimmy because Kimmy is uh, Slowing down the spiderlings which may not be the best really all we want to do is not give the the mama bear a chance to go The spiderlings we want them to go because it's their attacks that are doing the damage so uh, it's actually really important that they go. This looks like it's going to be a pretty good run. Looks like we got some good RNG here. My personal best with this team is 238. So we'll see if we can beat that. Uh, it would be pretty nice if we could. Uh, please, <laughs> game. Come on. Proc more of the big boy hits. There, 166. Let's go. Let's go. For the video. Let's go. You see every once in a while, if he has the block damage and someone else doesn't. There we go. Best time. Best time. 223. Uh, not an unreasonable amount of time. There you go. Uh, a chance to, to farm up some of those resources uh, and get things done. So uh, I know that... Let me know if you try this out with more realistic speeds. I know not everyone's going to have their Kimmy as their fastest champion. Not everyone has a, uh, a, a, Fu, uh, a Myth Fu variant that doesn't include Fushan, so I have that's why I have her speed as high as I do. Um, not everyone's gonna have that, but who I don't think you necessarily need that level of speed on the two of them. Uh, so let me know if that works for you. But it's a nice, easy way to uh, to to farm up this, give it a go. And if you're not too worried about speeds, you could probably put a couple of uh, food in here. They'll probably take some early hits, which will slow it down by about a minute, I'd say. But a good opportunity to farm some and as well. So. I wanted to get this video out there for those who may not have may have missed uh, Chosen's or are looking for options that are a little bit quicker. Uh, unfortunately, I was trying to help Chosen with this, but he got the video out before I was a chance to find a combination that worked uh, a little bit faster than than his. So I apologize, uh, Chosen, but uh, I'll I'll put out a video instead. Here you go. And for those of you who are like, I thought you were going to put out that hour and a half video that I don't want to watch and probably won't watch tomorrow i know i said today but i wanted to get this out because the uh, tournament ends today so thank you all for watching uh have a nice day uh and uh rest in peace to the queen and for all of you who are british or part of the commonwealth it's a crazy day that a that a national um it it's she and she i would say that the queen inspired uh a sense of nationalism a, a sense of pride in one's country, one's world. And that was something that this queen brought that I wouldn't say necessarily previous monarchs uh, in the British system had. And so what she has accomplished in her life uh, as a, you know, more than just a figurehead of an antiquated system, I think it's a, it's a representation of everything that is British pride in oneself and what they can accomplish and what they can do in today's day and age. So um my condolences out to all those who who did have a personal uh sense of connection to the queen and of course to the queen's family and uh may charles uh the third uh the new king of england uh have a successful reign that's all i have for you i want to thank you uh, i think i already said that but we'll say it again but uh, be kind be safe and we'll see you in the next video